everybody and welcome. This is a freebie that I'm going to be distributing far and wide um, for uh, those of us who sometimes work on loose substrates like this is 8 by 8 watercolor paper um, and then you want a way to display your paintings or even sell your paintings. So this is a 10 by 10 painting panel. Um, this is birch plywood top, um, base wood frame. They're really lightweight. They hang on the wall beautifully. I get these from Curry's. And what I do with them is I paint them with black gesso to seal in the wood. Um, and just to create a, a nice background to put my paintings on. You could also um, paint these by tracing around your chosen substrate, your chosen painting, um, to ensure that you are painting just inside the lines so you don't have to paint the whole thing. I like painting the whole thing. There's something uh, sort of magical about that for me. It feels like I'm creating a home for my painting, so I like to paint the entire thing. And then I attach my paintings to the panel using a gel gloss. So this is a gel medium from TriArt. It is very comparable to gel medium from Golden. Um, there's really no difference in quality, but the price of the TriArt is much more reasonable for me since I'm in Canada. But obviously, uh, you can use the Golden Soft Gel. And if you're using really heavy watercolor paper, then you can also use the heavier gels that Golden uh, produces. So they produce a regular gel and they produce a heavy gel. Um, and you can use that for heavier paintings um, just because it, it will create better contact between the paper and the wood. So first step is to get a good even layer of the medium onto my wood and then I do a good even layer of the medium on my painting. Sometimes I will sandwich the paintings between layers and sometimes I won't. It depends. If there's glitter uh, or anything like that on the painting then I will sandwich, I will not sandwich it. What I will do instead is finish the um, painting with a layer of Krylon low odor gloss. So I will make sure that it's on the painting in the way that I want it to be. So centered, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. And then moving from the inside out, I will make sure that the painting is making contact with the, with the background so it's completely stuck. Then I'll grab a baby wipe because as I'm coming around the edges, I will be squishing excess gel out the sides and then I'll wipe that from the card as I go. See there, there was a lot of excess gel. This also has the added benefit of removing uh, excess from the background as well because you don't need all this gel on there. You just need enough that things are going to stick. I will also wipe the edges. Um, and sometimes I'll finish the edges with the gloss as well. It depends. If I'm doing some kind of embellishment around the edges, because uh, some of these can be custom um, uh, edged. So if I'm doing that, then I will just leave it and then do the gloss after. Sometimes I don't do the gloss at all. So now I'm just going over this and like really pressing and making sure that it's making contact all over and you can see how the uh, medium starts out really glossy uh, sorry really um, 
milky and then it as it dries it turns uh, completely transparent so that's making really good contact that is tightly on there and then you can decide if you want to to do some edging so you could do uh, a border with some gold punchinella or do some doodles around the edges or whatever you like um, in the case of this painting, I'm actually going to seal it in um, between another layer of gel medium. So starting from the center and moving out. Not too thick. I don't want a lot of brush strokes in this because it will kind of interfere with the finished product. It will create... Uh, like too much texture and it will kind of obscure the finished product which I don't want so um, I'm adding quite a thin layer making sure that the corners are actually sticking making sure there's no bubbles or wrinkles so you really want to work with a good quality paper if you're going to mount your paintings this way I wouldn't work with anything less than 140 pounds unless you're working with the Canson XL the Canson XL paper, the 90 pound is plenty. This is the 90 pound. It doesn't warp or buckle or, or wrinkle uh, when you glue it down to your hard board. It just sits up really pretty there and has a really beautiful finish. Uh, this is not sitting, sitting up, uh, sitting down, down here. So I'm just gonna go in and really press that down. So adjust the gel you use according to the thickness of your paper. Um, for example, if you were mounting a print that was just on photo paper, then you could use the polymer medium that is a liquid. But if you're using anything heavier than that, I would go with the soft gel. If you're using really heavy paper, I would go with the heavy gel. Um, and then seal it all in and then it's up to you if you want to feather out your medium so I like to use a really soft brush with that and I just feather it out and what that does is it softens any of the brush strokes that are in there from the medium just really softens that I'll go along the edge just to remove any extra gloss that I have going on there And then you want to let that dry completely. So that is embedded now between two layers of gel medium, um, which we have. Ooh, I've got fingerprints in there. That's not good. I'm just going to wipe out my fingerprints. I mean, I'm sure that the lovely person who purchased this painting won't mind my fingerprints in there. Kind of like a second signature, but it's going to bug me if I leave those in there. So I'm going to remove them. All right, so you just let that dry completely. And then I like to finish these with a, a varnish. And the varnish that I use uh, for these is the uh, Krylon Low Odor Gloss because it can go on the front. And then once I've done whatever embellishment I'm doing on the sides, it can go on the sides as well. Um, and it's easy use because you just spray it on. Uh, it's really recommended that you spray this stuff outside because it's really... Um, toxic to the liver. I live three flights up though, so I always just kind of hold my breath and hope for the best. Um, but this is a case where, you know, do what I say, not what I do, and voila. And these cradle boards are a little bit spendy. This is a $10 Canadian product. Um, so you're going to adjust the price of your paintings accordingly. Make sure that you're adding on, you know, whatever you paid for the cradle board plus tax to the final cost of whatever it is that you're selling. Um, but this will work really nicely for um, paintings on watercolor paper. You could also uh, do prints. Um, if you print these on high quality archival paper, then you can mount your prints this way as well. And then you have just a gorgeous way to display your work or to offer it for sale. And I hope you found that useful. Lots of love. Bye.